urologist here is a case of child with a recurrent stone large volume bilateral stone plus ureteric large stone so on the side where ureteric stone is not there i am operating if you see here bilateral kidneys are meeting around 4 years old so right kidney a dense stone and left ureter there is a big stone so these things can be assessed well with x-ray kub so x-ray kub even though it is radiation for a surgeon it gives better eye. lot of people will ask whether i have to do supine pcl or prone pcl for a case like this where it is occupying entire pelvis it does not make any difference for supine or prone it is your comfort we will ask the anesthetist here how are you comfortable by placing this patient in supine are you comfortable in supine or prone i am comfortable in supine why what is the common reason supine i again have to change my type of view then i have to make it prone so you will be able to make changes in prone position you will be uncomfortable in the hemodynamic position yes uh, uh, respiratory parameters will be little difficult yes sir. okay the position of the head also position of the head also no anesthetist what do you say ramakrishna yes. no anesthetist will be ever comfortable in prone position for a small kid so logically i thought because i am doing both prone and supine because it is large volume if you see here in supine position this stone is falling on the spine if you are not very catchy you don't know which is transverse process which is stone and where it is falling is it part of the you don't know ureteric catheter is literally on the spine normally it will be here this is the true disadvantage of supine case more you turn the patient in supine more this will go medium more difficult the case is and more the angulations are problem all dynamics will be there na 0 degree 30 degree bull side all are gone why you cannot do a case in uh, pcl in a pelvis because sacrum is there here same thing spine is there so don't turn too much that is the first point now let us go to the surgery pcl what we follow is one side leg normal less lithotomy other side lithotomy and uh, already posterior axillary line is drawn but i feel uh, posterior axillary line is not important lot of people ask sir can you teach the supine pcl prone pcl this is what we have to learn that first to feel the rib how do you feel you come from below and uh, feel the rib tip it is here very big rib very nice rib it is here so if you wanted to entry point which is the basic entry point should be below the 12th rib tip and posterior to the 12th rib tip a little here in between the iliac crest and the spine you got the point so now if you take the needle if you put any person like this and activate only short period it is coming low so what you have to do you have to go up and direct like this now it is coming like this is it correct by the 10 degree angle to make it infracostal if you wanted to go like this above the rib it will come exactly parallel like this but i personally feel i will go a little down and make it like this this is before injecting the contrast so what i do now here 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 we don't know where to enter where will you enter exactly one centimeter below the rib here you got the point now if i go here if i hit the stone are you in the posterior calyx or anterior calyx i will you know very difficult because large stone but if it is a calyx if the needle is anterior that needle will go down in the screen so not necessary but without rgp you should not do puncture now it is i marked i have decided one centimeter finger with below now you inject contrast you are injecting the contrast inject lot of contrast is going down because previous history of now see now see total story changed that's why marking should never be done before see this is the correct puncture this this you agree yes, sir. now for that my puncture line has gone little down is it okay is good or bad yes. good so you go horizontally first towards the see the moment i put within yes. one centimeter kidney is not moving the calicial cupping is also and kidney is moving so much see calicial cupping how it is deforming yes. Now I kept like this. Only one centimeter has gone inside. Dangerous. You need high pressure. That's not easy. See, at this level, you have to see whether it is in correct position or not. Now what will you do? Five degree only you tilt. How many? Five, Five, degree. Five degree. What will happen? It is same position. Ten degree only. What will happen? It has come little down. Then that means you are more anterior. anterior. Now fifteen degrees you tilt. It is coming more down. Yes, sir. Twenty degree you tilt. It is coming more down. All degrees. It should be in same place. Okay, sir. If it is in the correct position, correct position. it has gone down. No. First five degrees it is looking same. After thirty it is looking down a little bit. That means you are missing the bite by Million. narrow margin. So no need to remove. Then you have to do. Now it is coming down. Coming down. Coming down means anterior. Yeah, yeah. What I should do? So here you have to go. Come back a little. See. No, no, thirty. I did not tell. I did not tell. 
30 only you keep okay 30 only keep just withdraw go posterior see go posterior see how much it is dipping here also you show posterior here also you show posterior how much it is dipping okay now you see 30 degree i have made it but still little bit missing see like that okay now it is, still it is a little bit lower part okay like that this is 30 degree punctured now you move to 0 degree in that contrast see it is perfectly in place yes sir. Yes, sir. yes sir now what i will do i will remove the needle slowly without moving i will expect water or else what i will do i will withdraw a little bit okay because at the periphery i have to get the water i will move like this now at this stage when you are confident what you have to do is pass the dead wire because anyway you have punctured it is not going i will come back a little bit it is when it goes okay not goes not going i will withdraw a little bit i will withdraw a little bit every time i am withdrawing now it is not coming so what i will do i will just see it's coming little bloody because i have come out so what i will do i will again ask him to see it is just uh, there if you don't give resistance it will go deeper but you should come back always you should come back and get where you're in periphery at least here now inject select now i will take it out and see whether dead wire will go or not you should not uh, be in hurry no it is not going so you may miss uh, sometimes by narrow margin no it's not going okay so this is what no it is not going you should be able to identify that it is so you have to be sometimes uh, change the entry needle also sometimes this uh, will not work out everything see i am changing more posterior see see how it is going see probably you thought that this time it is better because dip, dipping now again i will try see urine has come yes sir that is the secret of pcnl supine only one degree extra posterior i have gone but that time the curvature is very beautiful see very beautiful now it has gone yeah that's all now there is nothing in more than this you do slowly dilatation sit aram se do it surgery is over you want to do mini park you do mini park and uh, people like ram krishna can do slowly and finish so that in future such large kidneys there should not be any damage to the parent oh, show the step by step dilatation first you rotate see i should do that you on the cm see this is not a very good uh, dilator it is very very it has doesn't have strength don't use such type of dilator in children it cannot uh, dilate you need a stiff dilator uh, because rectus sheath uh, flexes it doesn't offer assistance but at the same time it is a uh, highly thick tissue in children very very because in children it is healthy na see here also i am facing lot of problem uh, not elastic here elastic not uh, not the question of elastic the uh, skin incision i have not given proper leave it skin incision i have not given dermis i have not cut you should understand these points i have done it with my experience but uh, properly you should cut it again i will do this again i will do this see it goes easily now okay it has gone only thing is that this can perforate that's why you should always have i am telling you to use the zebra guide where you are not taking you might have used zebra because zebra is a stiffer thermo se jyada supine piece and zebra is better ha rod right, now rod whenever you insert rod one time you should take rgp as a background what rgp as a background see can you see always tilt like this don't do dilatation like this dangerous now you go slowly see in this direction don't do down this is my favorite point see up like this towards the upper part of the cavity why large longest mucosa is available if at all any damage to be done but if you take a shortest path it is dangerous okay now keep infusing the saline when i am entering the this is very very important see sometimes uh, goes deep into the kidney so you should be very careful balance enough 18 18 okay he is telling 18 is better so we will tell 18
blade. So always remember cut the skin. Without cutting skin, putting means laparoscopic port. If you without dermis, if you put, you apply more thirst. Then what will happen? See how much it has gone medially like this. You should not go. You remove. Anyway, large stone. So this is dangerous. Last dilators. You have to put saline. I am able to feel the kidney here. Not stone. Stone. How will you feel? Okay. So a stone also. A yes, rod will move. So now you will inject saline. Bleeding is there. We should use lot of saline from below. One of the urologists should scrub. They should not stand outside like uh, this thing. And uh, junior whoever is uh, is there from below, they should scrub. Okay. Now you inject the uh, contrast. And uh, now slowly, slowly, slowly go there. Is it there? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, no impalpable injury should be you hold. Initially, blood will be there. Now we will switch over to here. A stone is up, but end posterior. See, nice. Which calyx it is? One calyx is in posterior means you are slightly anterior. Can you see the impalpable nicely? All impalpable. So go nicely there and spend some time and do the stone. If you use uh, nicely laser or pneumatic lithotripter, everything can be seen. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. One stone you see there has gone in the screen. Which stone has gone into the ureter after doing a large volume stone? And now that is taken care by the ureteroscopy below. Here you see from below, from here, the urologist has gone through here and pushed there. So that stone is slowly stone. Especially if the recurrence is more, such stone if you leave, it will grow. So ureter is injecting contrast with the frostomy kept in the seat. Totally normal uh, for calyx. Come back and inject contrast quickly. So let's see the initial cupping. That is indicates that surgery went very well. Now we will see here. Contrast is, uh, is nicely without any uh, C. See how the ureter is small and uh, see the pelvis is collapsed. Uh, yeah. See here all the calyces are filled. There is no stone. So this uh, clear cut uh, advantage of a large stone when you are doing supine PCL is more. Lower calyx is nicely cupping. Middle calyces are clapping. So it is nicely draining absolutely there won't be any problem but we will keep nephrostomy for one day because it's a child bilateral disease you should not take any chance so this is the supine PCL in four years child with large volume bilateral stone where 18 French uh, sheath is used laser and pneumatic lithotripter are used to clear the stone complete clearance is achieved thank you